welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and if you're new here, I talk about all things feminine, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love pretty pink girly things, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lizzie and Lace and check out my blog, lizzieandlace.com. If you're not new here, welcome back. I am so excited about today's video. You guys know that I love fragrance. I shared my entire fragrance collection earlier this year and it was a hit. So I know that you guys love fragrance as much as I do. And one of the big questions was what was my favorite fragrance? And I shared all about that a few weeks ago in another video talking all about the Delina collection from Parfum de Marly. My darling Delina is my favorite fragrance ever and I go into a lot of detail on there about all three of the Delinas as well as the rest of the collection so make sure you check that out and today I am talking about the rest of the feminine collection from Parfum de Marly. I'll be sharing my thoughts on Sudbury, Cassily, Meliora, Darcy, Safanan, and Athalia. All of these fragrances are so incredibly different and I am so excited to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Sudbury is elegant, regal, and incredibly feminine. It has a lovely vintage feel about it. And to be honest, it reminds me of Marie Antoinette. It smells like I'm dancing in a bright sunlit room full of fresh florals with fragrant sweet treats all around. It's powdery in the best way and has quite a delicate, indulgent, and luxurious scent. It opens with an explosion of unique powdery sweetness and dries down to a decadent creamy floral. The top notes are Italian Mandarin and Lavender. The heart notes are Jasmine, Iris, and Tuberose. And the base notes are Amber and Patchouli. The bottle design has that classically feminine Parfum de Marly touch. It very much embodies the iconic French Baroque architectural style and includes elegant touches like a jeweled metal top, braided tassel detailing, and a matte white bottle. Another thing that I love about Parfum de Marly is their unmistakable ability to create a bottle that completely captures the essence of each scent in a three-dimensional way. Every detail is carefully considered and brought to life in such a beautiful way. This bottle perfectly matches what I would envision this scent to smell like. The longevity is outstanding, lasting most of the day for me, and I think this would be an amazing fragrance for the springtime. Cassily is feminine, sweet, and youthful with a fruity flair. It smells like a meandering through the Italian countryside, taking in the fruity scent of the vineyards and the array of beautiful summer sunset colors splashed across the sky. It's a playful light and girly scent, bursting with pure joy and happiness. It opens with a blast of irresistible fruity florals and dries down to a delicious, faint, fruity scent. The top notes are red currant, Bulgarian rose, and transparent white flowers. The heart notes are Plum Accord, Mimosa Absolute, Plumeria, and Petalia. And the base notes are Sandalwood, Tonka Bean, and Vanilla Pod. The bottle design is the same as the others in the feminine collection with the exception of the color. It's a soft, creamy, pastel, peachy orange hue that is reminiscent of a cool orange sorbet on a hot summer day. The bottle is a very good representation of what the scent smells like. The longevity on this one is quite good, but I find that on me, it doesn't last as long as some of my other Parfum de Marly fragrances. Regardless, it's absolutely delightful and a welcome gem in my collection. While also perfect for spring, I think this would be the ultimate summertime fragrance. Meliora is feminine, soft, and sophisticated with a citrusy edge. It smells like I'm sitting on a balcony in Greece overlooking the majestic blue ocean, feeling the warmth of the summer sunshine on my skin and the chilled lemonade in my hand. It's light, romantic, and almost dreamlike. 
encapsulating the feeling of freedom and adventure into each spritz. It opens with a burst of vibrant fruity florals and dries down to a light and fresh citrusy scent. The top notes are red berries and raspberry. The heart notes are rose and ylang ylang, and the base notes are vanilla and musk. The bottle design is the same as the others, but with an elegant, clear design. To me, the scent is quite transparent, like a veil of sunshine bottled up as a fragrance. So it doesn't surprise me that the bottle is transparent to mimic that scent. The longevity on this one is also good, but I find that on me it doesn't last as long as some of my other Parfum de Marly fragrances. With that being said, I just love it. It's bright, sparkly, and happy. Pure sunshine in a bottle. This would be the perfect scent for summertime. Darcy is sweet, sophisticated, and feminine. It smells like I'm baking an abundance of sweet treats in the wintertime, cozied up in my favorite sweater with a glass of wine in hand. It's elegant, deep, and complex. Like many of the other fragrances from Parfum de Marly, it seems to change and evolve with time, taking your senses on a fragrant adventure. It opens with a unique blend of floral and citrus, and dries down to a lovely woodsy scent that smells like a perfect mix of chocolate and citrus. It's unlike anything I have ever smelled. The top notes are bergamot and orange. The heart notes are rose and jasmine, and the base notes are patchouli and musk. The bottle design showcases a beautiful, brilliant gold that shimmers among the others in the collection. It looks regal, like something that would be owned by a queen. The design is unique and stands out much like the fragrance itself. Bold, bright, and intoxicating. The longevity on this one is fantastic, lasting most of the day for me, and I think that this would be a wonderful fragrance for the fall and winter months. Safanade is feminine, sweet, and undoubtedly elegant. It smells like I'm exploring nature, taking in the beauty of the forest surrounding me, with gentle sunlight shining through the trees, creating the most magical aura. It's light, comforting, and warm, like an old favorite that brings back the best of memories. It opens with a mix of delicate, fruity florals and dries down to a sophisticated, woodsy floral. The top notes are orange and pear. The heart notes are ylang ylang and orange blossom. And the base notes are amber and vanilla. The bottle is clear, much like Meliora, but instead of a light hue reminiscent of sunshine, it showcases a dazzling golden amber color that reminds me of sunset and the changing colors of leaves in autumn. To me, the fragrance smells oriental, and I think that comes through clearly with the bottle as well. The longevity on this one is very good, and I think that this would be an incredible fragrance for the fall and winter season, but I also think that it could work for the summer as well. Athalia is feminine, elegant, and dramatic. It smells like I'm going on a date night in the city. Wearing a shimmering dress, sat up against a warm fire with the sparkling stars above in the night sky. It's sophisticated, deep, and sensual, reminding me of something that an old Hollywood starlet would wear. In my opinion, Athalia is the little black dress of fragrances. It opens with a romantic mix of woodsy florals and dries down to a sweet powdery musk. The top notes are bitter orange and incense. The heart note is orange blossom. And the base notes are musk and vanilla. The bottle design is incredibly refined with a matte black color, giving off an air of mystery and glamour. The bottle very much embodies the feeling of the scent. Dramatic, bold, and stylish. The girl that wears this scent wants to be noticed, but also wants to remain mysterious. The longevity on this one is amazing, lasting most of the day for me, and I think that this would be a wonderful fragrance for fall and winter, as well as date night. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you loved this video and I hope that you enjoyed getting to see more of the feminine fragrance collection from Parfum de Marly. All of them are so amazing, but I would like to know which one you would like to try. Leave a comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. For even more girly content, make sure you check out my blog, lizzieandlace.com, and follow along on my pretty pink Instagram. I will see you guys later. Bye!